today let's take up the journal proper or the general journal we have already seen the various types of uh, special purpose books so we know now that the cash transactions are recorded in the cash book the credit purchases are recorded in the purchases book likewise the credit sales are recorded in the sales book purchase returns are recorded in the purchase returns book sales return in the sales return book and the bills receivable and bills payable are recorded in the respective books of bills receivable and bills payable apart from this there can be other transactions which may not fit into any of these special purpose books and these have to be put in the journal proper so basically now today we are going to look at those transactions which will come in the journal proper so not many transactions will be there in the journal proper because most of the transactions will be put in their uh, in the books which is meant for them now the transactions which uh, should be put in journal proper which should be recorded in journal proper let's look at them the first one is the opening entries opening entry right opening entry is done at the beginning of a financial year right now here all the assets are debited and all the liabilities and capital are credited right so if we have something like this it's a furniture account debit 50000 return 5000 right machinery account debit 10000 right then you can have cash in hand account debit Fifty thousand, right? And debtors' account debit fifteen thousand, right? So now all the liabilities will come here to creditors' account, right? Whatever liabilities we have to bills payable account, right? To uh, any loan account, let's say. <clears throat> bank loan account right if at all it is there and then the capital will be there right so this is basically the opening entry you have to ensure that the debit side total is equal to the credit side total right <clears throat> this opening entry will be uh, recorded in the journal proper from where it will be posted to the ledger right same way closing entries are also recorded in the journal proper closing entries like closing entries uh, generally the accounts are closed by transferring them to the profit and loss account or trading account right like in the case of purchases account it is uh, the at the end of the year the purchases account is transferred to the trading account the entry being uh, trading account debit to purchases account right likewise for the sales account it is also transferred to the trading account the entry is sales account debit to purchase uh, to trading account for all the uh, expenses like you have rent uh, rent account or salary account wages account wages comes in the trading account rent account let's say this will come this will be transferred to the profit and loss account so profit and loss account debit to rent account right salary it will be profit and loss account debit to salary account so all these types of entries the closing entries will be recorded in the journal proper right
and from there they are uh, transferred to the trading and profit and loss account when we make the final accounts right the other entries like any kind of rectification entries we'll be looking at uh, the rectification entries in detail when we come to the lesson rectification of errors so all rectification entries will be recorded in the journal proper right and uh, after this there are certain other entries like adjusting entries wherein you have all these things outstanding expenses right prepaid expenses income received in advance then accrued income that is income earned but not uh, received then you have interest on capital depreciation all these things will also come in the journal proper and then entries uh, for dishonor of bills and then finally you have uh, the credit purchases or credit sales of uh, assets let's say right so supposing you do something like uh, credit purchase of land right credit purchase of machinery like all these things will come in the journal proper so credit purchase of uh, any other uh, property other than the goods right because credit purchase of goods will come in the purchase books right any other credit purchase is going to come in your journal proper right and then uh, this discount allowed and discount received this will come in the journal proper bad debts any entry relating to bad debts if um, an amount becomes irrecoverable that is treated as bad debts so that will be put in the journal proper right and any other abnormal laws like uh, laws occurring due to theft fire etc all these things will come in the journal proper right so any other any any transaction which does not fit into any of the uh, special purpose books right those will be put in the journal proper fine now the transactions like uh, supposing you have something like this salary of rupees 5000 for august 2013 outstanding right then you write rent received in advance rupees 10000 right um depreciation charged on machinery at the rate uh, of let's say 20% right then you have uh, purchased machinery on credit from sita associates for rupees 50000 right goods worth rupees 20 25000 lost by theft right an old typewriter was sold for rupees 2000 right a and sons were declared 
insolvent and a sum of rupees 20,000 could not be recovered from them right <coughs> A discount of rupees 500 was allowed to Sham and Company. They settled their accounts by paying cash after deducting the discount amount fine now here i have written some of the entries which will come in the journal proper fine so these all these entries these uh, transactions uh, you can't put them in any of the books special purpose books so salary of rupees 5000 outstanding the journal entry will be salaries to salaries outstanding rent received in advance right so here it will be rent received account debit to rent received in advance account depreciation charged on machinery this is depreciation account debit to machinery account purchase machinery on credit from sita associates so this is machinery account to Sita Associates account, fine. Goods worth rupees 25,000 lost by theft. Hmm. So here again, this is something which is a miscellaneous kind of transaction. So here you will have loss by theft account debit to purchases account because goods have been lost right an old typewriter was sold for rupees 2000 let's assume that this is a cash uh, an old typewriter was sold for rupees 2000 to Amit right so here it will be Amit account debit to typewriter account right this one uh, declared insolvent and a sum of rupees 20,000 could not be recovered from them. So this is bad debts account debit to A and Sons, this 20,000. Finally, discount of rupees 500 was allowed to Sham and Company. Fine. So discount allowed is a loss. So here you will have discount allowed account debit to Sham and Company account. Fine. So these kind of entries were uh, <clears throat> where there is no reference of uh, cash or credit purchase or credit sales or uh, bills receivable, bills payable. For, for for these all these you have got special purpose books. So where there is no uh, reference to any of the special purpose books, they have to be put in the journal proper and from there it has to be transferred to the ledger, right? So with that, I will come to the end of this session on journal proper. In our next session, uh, we, we can take up some transactions which involves the special purpose books as well as the journal proper and see which transaction will come in which book right so with that i'll end my session here bye